Good afternoon. I am Jun Chena from Yeonchun University in South Korea. Uh, first, I would like to thank the committee for giving me the opportunity to give this talk. Uh, in this session, I will talk about how to interpret and manage a PyRads 3 lesion. PyRads is a standardized recording system for multi-parametric MRI of the prostate. It was recently upgraded to version 2.1 in 2019. In this five-point scale, Category 1 2 lesions are likely to be clinically insignificant, suggesting to observe rather than to biopsy, while Category 3 4 lesions are highly likely to be clinically significant cancer and requires biopsy. Uh, PIRAS Category 3 lesions are in intermediate between the two, two groups, and the clinical significance is equivocal. So, this slide shows how the lesions are categorized. Uh, lesions in the peripheral zone are scored according to the diffusion weighted image, and lesions in the transitional zone are scored according to the T2 weighted image. In the upgraded 2.1 version, a few statements have been modified uh, to improve standardization, and you can note that uh, category 2 lesions in the transitional zone can be upgraded to a category 3 if the diffusion weighted image shows a score of score greater than 4. Uh, a, a recent meta analysis uh, reviewed 28 studies uh, on more than 100, more than 1,700 pirate 3 cases. Uh, the prevalence rate was 17.3%. The detection rate for all prostate cancer was 36%, and that of the clinically significant prostate cancer was 18.5%. You should take into note that the range is very wide, meaning that the report was variable from various studies. If you look at the chart on the right, you can see that the detection rate between target biopsy and systematic biopsy was not very different. But if the two were combined, the detection rate increased for both all prostate cancer and for clinically significant prostate cancer. So this detection rate of these pirate 3 lesions is not low enough to consider, consider observation, uh, but for doing biopsy for all these lesions would result in too many biopsies on benign or indolent cancer lesions. So the lesions should be carefully stratified and selected to avoid unnecessary biopsies uh, while increasing the clinically significant prostate cancer detection rate and in the meantime minimizing the risk of missing significant prostate cancers. In the following, uh, I, will, I will review the recent studies on clinical or radiometric parameters and biomarkers to improve the stratification of PIRAT3 lesions. Uh, before starting, I would like to note the, the uh, PSA density, a PSA density of uh, 0 0.15 has been reported to be a reasonable cutoff value uh, in this aspect from many studies, and it will not be reviewed in this talk. Uh, first of all, clinical parameters can be used. Uh, this study from China on 121 patients recorded that if only uh, patients with an age older than 68 and or a PSA density greater than 0.15 were biopsied, 24.1% uh, of biopsy can be avoided while only missing uh, one clinically significant cancer. Uh, this is a study from Korea on 347 patients. Uh, this group suggested a PSA density of 0.2 as a cutoff value. If the biopsy was avoided for patients with a PSA density lower than this, uh, clinically significant cancer could would be missed in only eight to nine percent of nine of nine of patients, and this was regardless of age and history of previous biopsy. Uh, for patients with a PSA density higher than 0 0.2, uh, the risk of having clinically significant cancer was higher if the patient was older than 65 years, or had a biopsy, or was biopsy naive. The characteristics of the lesions itself may also be used as a parameter. This is a study from Argentina, which suggests that the size of lesion matters. 
Although the study seems to have only included patients who have been diagnosed with, as uh, prostate, with, to have prostate cancer, it is, it, it, it is interesting uh, that none of the lesions uh, smaller than uh, 0 0.5 milliliter were clinically significant. And among the lesions greater than a 0.5 milliliter, uh, none of the lesions uh, were uh, none of none of the lesions were clinically significant if the PSA density was lower than 0 0.15. This study from Canada reports that combining the so staging based on DRE uh, PSA density and the size of lesion on MRI. Uh, can improve the prediction rate. Uh, the RFC curve on the left side uh, shows that uh, the combination of these three parameters uh, sh show a uh, better prediction rate. Mm. Uh, however, it is worth noting that uh, the, the graph on the right, uh, the, this RFC curve is a result on patients with negative prior biopsy. Uh, in, this, in these patients, uh, using only the PSA density, showed a high accuracy rate. Uh, this study from the US analyzed only the lesions in the transitional zone. The authors suggested that if the ADC value is used along with the PSA density, the detection rate of clinically significant prostate cancer rises from 15% to 60%, and biopsy can be avoided in 89% of patients. A group from Germany reviewed the MRI of 143 patients and found that lesions with a low ADC were more likely to be cancer. And in the peripheral zone, uh, if the lesion had a round shape, it was more likely to be cancer. And in the transitional and in the transitional zone, if the lesion was in the anterior location, it was more likely to be cancer. And if it had an ill-defined border, it was more likely to be a clinically significant prostate cancer. A group in Taiwan studied whether the prostate health index could aid uh, MRI in diagnosing significant prostate cancer. Uh, the authors reported that the prostate health index was especially useful, useful for the PIRAT3 lesions, and when a cutoff value of 50.1 was used, 69.1% of biopsies could be avoided while missing only 5.9% of clinically significant prostate cancer. Now, lastly, a group in China developed a model using machine learning based on the MRI radiomics. If you look at the table on the left, uh, the, the model developed by the, by the, by the research group, uh, the prediction rate is shown on the top of this model, and this was better than the prediction rate of the radiologist, which is shown in the bottom. So in conclusion, when managing PIRAT3 lesions, the risk stratification is needed to avoid unnecessary biopsy of benign lesions while minimizing the risk to miss significant cancer and also to increase the detection rate. Uh, clinical parameters such as PSA density and age and the characteristics of lesions such as size, shape, or location rate age value and biomarkers such as PHI can be used for this purpose. And uh, when, the, when the decision to, make, to do a biopsy is made, uh, target biopsy and system, systematic biopsy should be done together to increase the detection rate. However, the study, study, studies reviewed are all retrospective studies with a relatively small number of patients included. So a concrete guidance is not yet possible. Further studies with uh, biomarkers, machine, machine learning, or next generation imaging may provide further information to manage the pirate 3 lesions. Thank you for your attention.